This is the human intelligence that is developing artificial intelligence around the world. Now in Buenos Aires for an international conference on the advances so far and the huge potential to come. Conscious machines, perhaps. Robots we humans can interact with. Like in the movies. And I think that's some time away. I think we will, I think it's entirely plausible that that will happen. I think we will get plenty of indications that it's going to happen before we see conscious machines. It's not going to be something that happens, I think, overnight. We're already seeing the benefits of artificial intelligence in everyday life. In airport security, medicine, cars that can park themselves. But this is only the beginning. The technology is developing so rapidly that every now and then we need to stop and ask some important questions. Where is the technology going? What are its limits, if any? Who controls it? And what are its potential dangers? Among the potential dangers is the use of artificial intelligence in weapons of war, which is why more than 1,000 of those involved in the development of the technology have signed this letter, released at the conference, warning of the potential pitfalls. But there are dangers and we don't want, I mean, you know, we, we don't want society to stumble into situations in, a, in an uninformed way. I mean, so what this letter is about is really about autonomous killing machines. It's about equipping machines with the capability to decide whether to take human life. Hollywood films have fed our fears about those potential dangers the evil ones harnessing technology to take over the world. Many have an apocalyptic vision about this. They believe we should be careful since computers could become better than us and they see a danger in that. We have been warned, but these are the good guys. At the birth of a technological revolution, they believe will bring society benefits that a short time ago we could only dream about. Daniel Schreiner, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.